Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of Wargame Review Institutions. This is Wargamer number 62, and what you'll notice about it is it does not say on the cover what the name of the game is, but most Wargame magazines do that include a game. Let's see what the game is in here. It's Fallen Eagle, the Battle of Kaysan. Here's a sequence of play. He has a weather phase, NVA barrage phase, uh, that's definitely necessary in this battle, NVA movement phase, U.S. intelligent phase, U.S. air attack phase, NVA combat phase, NVA melee phase, U.S. barrage phase, U.S. movement, U.S. combat, and pin removal phase. I wonder what they're doing in the U.S. barrage phase, if that's just artillery, if that's all, I assume that's also including air because the U.S. had a ton of air power in this battle. All right, but here it's going into more detail in movement and stacking. There may never be more than 28 units of any size in the caisson base. Interesting. All right, and going over opportunity fire combat. And supply, and that's the rules. Wow, oh, oh wait, there's more coming after here. Here's the tables. Okay, so you got a combat results table, U.S. ammo point table, cool rock combat table, uh, melee table, UN, UN, excuse me, unit personnel count, barrage table, weather table, opportunity fire table, and a headquarters effects table. It's weird they have that in the middle uh, of the rules. Usually you like to have them at the last page. All right, again, intelligence rules, artillery, of course, airstrikes. All right, you got B-52 airstrikes, it says. And you got weather rules, special rules, and here's the scenarios. Scenario, looks like, is there two scenarios? Yeah, scenario one, which is a historical scenario, and scenario two, which is the NVA maximum effort. And here's the victory points. Looks like it's one with victory points. I would assume that if... Uh, Kaysan is occupied by the NVA. It's an automatic victory, but it doesn't seem to say that here. All right, let's take a look at the counters now. All right, count counters are standard NATO military symbols. I mean, they look like they're, they look all right for a game from this era. Looks like uh, some of them are two-step units. They're all right. I mean, this is what I would expect from a, ga a magazine game from this era. Let's take a look at the map now. Uh, it's a pretty simple map, actually. Here's Longve down here, the Special Forces camp that was attacked with NVA armor. And here's the various hills, like 950, uh, 558, 861A, 861, 881 South, and 881 North. And here's a case on combat base. It's got a combat results table on the map. And down here, it has a, ter a terrain effects chart, which has a terrain movement and uh, combat effects. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.